Hey everybody, Letitia Snyder, and I want to do a video on how to add, go here, how to add your Signasaur signature to your autoresponder campaign in All-in-One Profits. Okay, so we're going to already be signed in to um, Signasource and have um, dashboard up. So this is a signature that I've already created, and um, it is marketing for me for um, my all-in-one profits responder campaign, which is for my money team, uh, money machine team. And so this is what we've already got, and it shows how many times it's been it's been viewed so far. So we're going to. appear like this and how to get the Signasource signature HTML code. So we're going to sign in to Signasource. We've got this up already. We're going to scroll down and you're going to hit install signature into email. We'll click install your signature. And this comes up with the different areas that you can install it in. I've already got mine in, in my Gmail account. But for what we're doing today, we need the HTML code. So we'll go over here to Reduced HTML and click on that. And this brings up your guide. This is what it looks like. You can click it like that. Or what I want you to do is go down here to the number two option, which is copy your HTML code. We're going to click on that and click anywhere in this box. And then we're going to select all. Click on copy. Okay. Scroll down to copy your HTML code. Right click, select all copy. Now what I do, I have it pasted in Notepad so that I can use it at any time. And so we're going to bring up Notepad and we've got it in here. And so I've already pasted it in here. I'm gonna set that up to where you can see it. So you would click in the notepad area, you would right click and then you would paste it in here. And then you'll want to save it as a file. It'll be a text file. I have it saved as Signasource Signature. Okay, so that's going to come up and it's going to be this and replace the asterisk and dot text. Okay, so when I've already got this. I'm going to keep it highlighted and minimize, and that way I have it down here to where I can use it at any time. So now that I've got it pasted in Notepad, I can use that at any time. If I replace something and um, I need to go back to it so that I can copy it again, I will just bring that back up, right click, and click copy. Okay, right. now we're going to do the autoresponder campaign and we're going to go to the money machine team that I have set up in my autoresponder. So we're going to, um, we can close out of this or go back to our dashboard so that we don't change anything by accident. And I've already got all in one profits up. And I've got my campaign here for my autoresponders. So what you do is you go to um, the autoresponder that you have set up. And on the side it says go. You will click on that so you bring up the one that you want to work with. And this one that I've got active is my MM team at All-in-One Profits Response. I'm logged in here. And we go to Edit Autoresponder. And this screen is what it will bring up. I also have that visible here to access. 
So this is what it will look like, and this is where we're going to click the select message. So you want to start at the beginning with each message, and you'll work your way through. And I will show you where it is that we're going to enter the Source code that you saved from HTML. So we already have, I have already gone through and done the um, first eight or ten messages so that it doesn't, I don't walk through each one with, with you all. So we will go to, you will start with the first one, and I'm going to go down to this one and click select message. And it brings it up in the lower screen. And this is where it's got all the information on the autumn responder email that goes out. And you don't want to change anything in here. Make sure the settings are all set and uh, kept the way they are. This is what we're going to do to change to add your signature. You scroll down to the very bottom, and you see there are um, testimonies. This is where we're going to be changing things, where it says, it's your time. Instead of having that, then we are going to put in your signature. So this is what it's going to look like when you get all done. So you find this spot where it says, it's your time. And you go to the end of the email message. And I want you to highlight that and click delete on your keyboard. You will then hit enter to go down and give it one more space so it gives plenty of room for your signature. And this is where we go into the code area. So you'll see here where it says edit HTML source. And this tiny little print up here that says HTML, that's in your toolbar up here for the body of your email message. So you're going to click on that. It brings up another box and it shows all the HTML code. So what we're going to do is leave it right where it's at. And you'll look through here. It's about a quarter of the way from the top. And you'll see this where it says, it's your time. And if you remember, that's where it was that we wanted to um, add the space. The space that we added come up here with this paragraph add, the code, and then end paragraph. So you'll want to click on the end of this line after it's your time. And you're going to hit enter. And since we already had that code saved up here from your notepad, if you don't still have it or you got busy with something else, come back here and grab it. You're going to right click, um, make sure that you've got it in there. So it's your time. You've entered the line right here where the cursor is flashing. You're going to click Control V. I see how that populated all the Cigna source information here. This is the HTML code to your signature. So you've got it's your time, end paragraph, paragraph, information end, and then you've got the table that begins with your signature. And it goes down and it has all the Cigna source, uh, Cigna source information and end divider come down to where you click update at the bottom of your screen and it populates the signature so you can scroll through look at the rest of your email make sure that it all looks right okay and there's my signature so that's going to come up in every email that they um the autoresponder sends out for me now and so by doing so all of these buttons and links and graphics are clickable and they can click on these to access you know to contact me on facebook or twitter there are other options in your signature that you can do with signasource and add stuff but i have um, promote biz with signature free ebook facebook twitter and 
the free video for the greatest training video, the 61 minute video that we have. And then we will update message. And that has that updated. So just as we're getting ready to have uh, more of my leads go through, they will now receive the one that has the signature in it. I'm gonna finish out and do the last one. And as you go through, it will get easier to find the code because it'll look more familiar. And we come down here, scroll it down to the U name and you email and we click on the end of this to highlight and delete use the delete button on the keyboard and then enter we'll click on the html code and you will find that it's right in the midst of the middle of your page this is a longer one, so there's more testimonies. It's a little bit up here, farther up here. You'll find it's your time. You'll find the space that we created with the extra enter. Put the cursor there, hit enter, and control V. And there is your Sigma source information that we put in. update and there it is it's all populated for us and these are all clickable so when the email goes because all this is html code and done automatically it'll go right to them and it'll appear just the way it is in the the edit area we'll update that one and we'll see this one is my last one so that was the last one and that's 31 days spread out over time to edit that or for them to receive okay all right so we're done going through all of the messages we've selected each message we've updated and we've saved them and each one now has the sigma source signature in it and by doing the sigma source signature and mine is clickable it has access not only to all of your prospects that have gone through your funnel it has access to them even more than just your name and your email it has everything here that we've created with the Cigna source signature and however you do with that in the videos that Daniel has provided and Chris has provided for um, tutorials on how to do that you can get from your sponsor and access those all right so we're going to finish out and if you have any questions or need any help and if I'm not your sponsor then reach out to the person that shared all-in-one profits with you or the Sigma source, which I'm going to include the links below the video so that you have access to those as well and get with that person. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I hope this has helped and not confused you any more than, than you may have been at the beginning. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so and add me on Facebook and I will see you on the other side.